we're back with billions from Showtime. In this episode, inspired by the Cinema Sins channel on YouTube, we're looking at all the things that don't make sense from a financial point of view about the Ice Juice IPO. Let's come together the financial scenes. I own a chunk of the company and I've represented the founder forever. He's done, he wants out, I can take it over. Majority ownership. If the company is close to an IPO, why would the CEO quit before that? And if he quits, who's replacing him? Clearly, it's not gonna be Ira. He has no interest in managing the company. He just wants to cash in on the stocks. So why does he want the majority ownership? If he buys the share from the CEO and he's not the CEO, who is the CEO? Or why does nobody care about him or her? The ice juice file actually makes a noise before hitting the desk. Seriously, watch it in slow motion. There's something wrong with this IPO. I'm worth $125 million. At this number, I'm worth close to a quarter of a billion dollars. If I was worth $125 million at $18, now that the stock is closer to $30, he's worth about $210 million. $40 million away from $250. But who counts? Hi, kid. <laughs> Why are I also happy that the IPO is at $18? If the price reaches over $30 in a few hours, the company has clearly left money on the table. They could have raised the IPO offer price. But don't allow yourself to feel it just yet. That clouds the thinking. Chuck Schenier was conservative before. Double my position at the market. Why has he become so aggressive later? Get out of the stock, Chuck, any way you can. They're going to crush you. Is that so? Well, I'm glad to see you view me as so defenseless. Short sellers can't just crush you by being short aggressively. Ask the Tesla shorts. This is a red light short. Axe doesn't get positions this size wrong. And how can they short the stock? To short, you need to borrow. The underwriters are not allowed to lend it. It would be very, very hard to find stocks to short in a decent amount on the day of the IPO. People getting sick, something's breaking out. They don't know if it's listeria or... Why is Ira calling Chuck at work to tell him what happened? Chuck is not supposed to be involved in the deal at all. This is fucking horrible. Is there any way you can sell? Chuck, my stock's all restricted. If he's locked up, why does he care about the price right now? He should really only care about what happens in three or six months time when the lockup period ends. Some of the shares Ira received were not bought from the CEO. They were received for his work as a lawyer. Why can't he sell those at IPO? Closing price, 389. Still bomb. Why does everyone, including Axe Capital, act like the company's dead? The IPO process required proper due diligence. It showed the fundamentals were solid. The IPO was successful at 18, so the company has loads of cash. And once the origin of the sickness is discovered, the stock must bounce back. Actually, why is Axelrod not buying back the stock, leaving aside the compliance issues? If he knows how solid the company is, he could buy the stocks cheap, maybe even get a controlling stay, and wouldn't that be fun? You gotta get it in the boat before you can hang it on the goddamn wall. Chuck here is acting weird. It's not even his money. No, Chuck, you didn't, you didn't go into your trust. Fluke thing. Uh, the whole $8 million equity piece? Now we're talking about $8 million? Trade rights bidding for close to 700,000 shares on the name. We know that Chuck Senior bought 700,000 at 30. So that's $21 million. And that's half the amount. And then he lent Iris some money. Definitely something wrong with the maths here. How much? All of it. That's not the whole amount. He lent some money to Ira. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this new version. Please tell me, do you have any other episodes of Billions that you'd like to analyze? Or any other financial movies? I'm gonna throw up. We'd love to create an analysis based on your requests. You did have that ice juice today. Please don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot to me in terms of support and you don't wanna miss out the next one.